<laughs> okay, today is March 28th, 2022, and this is episode number three of the pear series. So this year, the weather has been a bit crazy, so the pear is a little bit delayed. Uh, by this time, usually they will already have some flowers and leaves, but um, this year, uh, we are just starting to get uh, the buds to open so it's uh it's a little bit slower but um things are coming along so i'll show you what's going on right here uh, my korean giant is still sleeping so they should um, open up very soon i'll show you it has a few um uh, green buds that are starting to, to pull open right here you see that so uh it's kind of green so in a week you will start to see flowers and leaves come out and the uh the multi-grafted tree, the hosui. Hosui are really early uh, trees to open, you see? The, that one there, those are gonna be flowering buds. And look at that at the top, those are flowering buds too. So yeah, that one's already opened. And I think the Olympic giant may be next. He's, and then Jojiro is opening up right here too, you see? And uh, I'm starting to um, take off the covering for the grafts. So I'll show you. See these grafts here that I took off? Look at that. It, it took. So this one's good. And then I did this one here. And that one looks good right here. So it's healing nicely. See, there's no dark area right here. So that graft took. And then the buds are starting to kind of like... Uh, swelling up so that's a good sign and then here's another one you see that one took and then I have these here and that took nicely that it's going to heal pretty soon and then a larger graft that I did right here see that one it took very nicely so I'm gonna have a new pear tree out of it a sucker this is a Olympic giant and so I have some graphs that I did previously some right here and these are the large brand this is a few years old graft and it's pretty big so it, fruits will get uh, will come out of these very soon and then these here this is a, a new graft that I was just taking off the the tape so uh, let me see I'll show you this one's the one that I did pretty recent like a month ago okay so I just took it off and look at that it took on very nicely so the branch here is a Shinsiki and this top here that I grafted on is from a Hosui that's why you can see the bud is already starting to open because the Hosui are very early so uh, yeah so Shinsiki and the top piece here that I grafted on is Hosui and then there's the other one that I did the opposite I took this branch and replaced it over there so I'll show you okay so here this is a Hosui with a Shinsiki on it so I basically cut the branches and switched them so I will have uh, <laughs> different varieties on each branch so that is pretty cool so here is the Hosui you see that those are flowering buds and then this is the uh, fruit salad tree I guess because I have so many different graphs on it uh, the Hosui again see I took another Hosui then I grafted onto here look at this the Hosui is already blooming see these are flowering buds right here you see how it's kind of reddish and this the Shinko is not so that is a different graph I'm gonna take this off pretty soon so there let's see what else is, uh, is uh, opening up Oh, here we go. Look at this. There is some leaves right here. That is from the Shinko. So here's another Hosui. You see, Hosui is always opening up first. So the buds are about to pop out right here. And then Fuyu, they're, they're usually slower than pears. So April is when they will begin to open. You see here, so this is the giant Fuyu. So that one's opening. Look at this. So this is the one that I chopped off right here so that I can make it uh, short and uh, balanced out the branches instead of allowing it to wait to one side. Uh, the apple tree, not much is happening, but it, it should be opening in, the, in April. So uh, mid-April, you see a bunch of leaves. 
and this is the smaller Shinko and I added two graphs over here so nothing's happening right here yet and here is my large Fuyu persimmon and they are opening up right now I'm seeing a lot of buds that are forming see here see so at every branch they're starting to swell up and pop open so within a week you will see these open up and they're gonna be lots of little flowering fruits okay today is April 1st 2022 and today we have a little bit of progress on some of the pears and so uh, this time of the year is when the pear uh, will start to bloom and uh, based on the different varieties that you have uh, some will bloom earlier and some will bloom a little bit later so I'll show you what blooms first this information is pretty important because sometimes you need to uh, to grow varieties that bloom at the same time so that they can help pollinate each other so because I have multiple different varieties I'll show you how they uh, progress and, and which is first that way if, if you happen to buy your own pear trees then you buy those that bloom at the same time to help with pollination so here is the uh, multi grafted tree and if you look uh, most of everything is bare except for the hosui hosui are one of the first type of pears that will bloom you see so now you can already see uh, the buds are starting to pop out and uh, look at that it's already started to bloom you see there's flowers up there so uh, the bees are going to come very soon within this week and they will start you know hovering around the flowers and you know uh, carrying the pollens back and forth so hosu is first and here is a graft from the hosui and as you can see there's already buds on there and uh, the the rest you see, see they're still closed but uh, soon they will come out and so here is another one this is a jojiro you see it's kind of opening so jojiro and hosui are very early and here I have a hosui that I grafted on a long time ago to the the pear tree that I started from fruit I mean from seed and as you can see you see the leaves are out and the blooms are about to open so they're very very early and then next we have the shinko shinkos are also pretty early and as you can see here you see there is a bud that is about to open up and uh, we have some leaves here that are opening and so uh, shinko is also another variety that uh, open up very very early so that could be one of your consideration when you buy different pear trees to help pollination and if you look here this is my graft you see this is a hosui the color is, is kind of reddish and then this is the shinko it's a little diff different color and as you can see here they, they already open you see so pretty soon I will have shinko and hosui uh, blooms and then uh, Korean giants will come after that and then after that the rest of them so uh, let me show you the Korean giant so here is the Korean giant and as you can see uh, the buds are popping out but a little bit slower you see so there's only a few blooms the rest are still waiting and then on this uh, Korean giant I also grafted a Shinko right here and as you can see the Shinko is already opening up so it's a little bit earlier than the Korean giant persimmons are usually later than the pear um, but somehow this year it's actually earlier than the pears <laughs> so I guess this is because uh, we have such cold temperature this year the pear uh, uh, you know are a little bit delayed so um, here we have see that leaves are starting to form so fruits will come after that so the funny thing about persimmon is that uh, as soon as the leaves come out the fruits will come very soon after that but the fruit take the entire season to to start to ripen up so you see fruit very early but it'll be there for months and months until you know towards the end of October that's when you get the actual fruits to eat so uh, uh, if you grow persimmon just just note that that's the case okay so because it is spring now that means uh, you're gonna have a lot of uh, animals and 
bugs and stuff coming to the tree so uh, I'm going to do something um, in preparation for that uh, usually it's for the ants and uh, you know maybe um, beetles larvae and caterpillars and all that stuff they usually climb up to the tree using the trunk so what I'm doing now is I'm using electrical tape right here and the reason I'm using electrical tape is because it's stretchable so just in case the pear is still growing it can stretch the tape no issue so here I'm going to put tangle foot around the base to keep the ants from carrying aphids back and forth and all that stuff so uh, I'll show you what uh, that looks like okay guys so here is what tangle foot is and I got lucky I bought a bucket of this uh, recently at uh, Lowe's for like two bucks usually they're very expensive so I guess I got them at a discounted price because they're trying to get rid of it and inside it's basically like an oil based sticky thing and this thing does not dry so it stays wet like this like forever and so it's not a good idea to apply directly to the bark because uh, you know the petroleum and all that stuff it could uh, you know take in the heat and uh, you know kind of heat up the the tree and stuff like that so it's not a good idea to just apply it directly to the bark so they do have this kind of uh, paper tape that you can buy along with this and then you tape it around but I didn't want to use the paper one because when you don't wrap it nicely the ants can can crawl under the paper and go up the, the tree and so that is why I use this tape so it's like flush um, all the way to the bark there's no way to kind of move around it and so I'm gonna apply this layer around the tape and uh, the tape is easy to take off so at the end of the season I just peel it off and and take it out or if I need to reapply then I just put a new piece of tape on so I use uh, a utensil whatever um, you have and I take like a little piece like this and then I apply right here see so you wanna you want a layer because the ants will, will go up the tree and then when it reaches here either it's gonna get stuck or it's just gonna go right back because uh, there's no way for them to pass this thing It's very very sticky so remember don't put it onto the bark so apply just just a layer and also when the wind blows uh, particles and stuff like that it may get stuck here so you might have to reapply later you see so that how that's how it looks it's just a small layer right there and it would stop anything that is small that tries to um, get up the tree so uh, uh, that's what I do every season okay guys so here is exactly how it works you see these ants are trying to crawl up the tree look at that see they can't get across so those are the ones that have already climbed up and so they they really don't have anywhere to go and those that try to climb up from the base the bottom they can't get through that so just in case these are the ants that carry aphids then they can't spread it to your tree so kind of keep the tree safe Okay guys, today is April 4th, 2022. Uh, the update is going to be more frequent because the pears are blooming. And so I wanted to capture all of the uh, beautiful scenes and stuff like that so you can see and share it together. So today we have uh, Hosui, which is the first uh, variety to flower. 
and they pretty much open fully so you can see beautiful pear flowers now and the bees will start visiting so here we have a grafted hosui and as you can see this flower is in full bloom and then here as well you see this is grafted onto a tree that I started from seed and uh, yeah the flowers are really nice and pretty and then over there see those are hosui and they are all opened up and then the next one that are uh, blooming after are the uh, Jojiro and the Korean giant and the Shinko as well do you see here this is the uh, Jojiro so they, it's starting to open you see that and then my Korean giant which is this one here that I grafted onto here and uh, this is the uh, let me see what this is Shinsiki Shinsiki is also opening as well you see here and this one here is a Hosui graft so that's why you see, you see the, the leaves are already forming and then here is my Korean giant and it is starting to open you see here so leaves are opening the buds are starting to form here and so this is a good sign because you want the Korean giant to open at the same time as another variety because it needs to be pollinated so without pollination they don't produce very much so uh, with a, a secondary variety next to it you will get more fruits and then on here I grafted a Shinko and see the Shinko is here opening up right there so they are at the same time so it's, it's good that uh, you have it right next to each other so pollination would be much easier so here is a Korean giant and then here is Shinko and here is the Shinko that is multi grafted with a bunch of other stuff on it and as you can see Hosui is already opening up right here this is all Hosui and then beneath here you see the, the, the difference in the color this is Hosui and this is a Shinko and then we have Jojiro here which is this one here and so you can see there's a the blooms are coming out and Shinsiki so there's all kinds of different grafts on it but the pears are starting to open so within a week or so uh, the flowers will open and they will look so pretty and then all of the persimmons are starting to bloom this is a regular Fuyu so they they, they tend to be faster than the, the giant Fuyu so these are already uh, putting out leaves and the, the, the fruits are going to start to form pretty soon and here's my giant Fuyu it's a little bit later so it's, it's just started to break you see so there's a lot of little green buds coming out so those will take uh, yeah, usually a week or two after the regular Fuyu and then here is the giant Fuyu that I trimmed so that one is also opening up and then my apple but apple is still a little delay and then I just started to graft this little branch here this is a hosui uh, onto an apple uh, I'm just testing to see if it works I, I don't know if it works but uh, we'll see but I did I, I did a graph for the apple onto the pear and that worked and it's been almost a year now so let's take a look so here it is right here apple onto my shinko so that's uh that's looking good so far okay so we'll be back soon okay we are now on april 9th 2022 and not all of the pears have bloomed but most of them have the uh this is the korean giant and it just started to put out flowers so which is a good sign spring is already here so uh, there's no more cold weather everything is going to be uh, beautiful here going forth and so let me show you the uh, um, the sticky thing that we uh, put on to the root of the tree or the base of the tree and here it is tangle foot you see it works great so the ants are not going up and down the tree anymore and uh, this also prevents any other type of bugs that could do damage to the tree as well so um, that's what I use every season and it's been working so well okay so here is uh, again the Olympic giant or the Korean giant and here is the 
multi grafted tree and as you can see the hosui is fully bloomed and then the korean giant is coming out jojiro's out shinsiki's out the 20th century is still behind so nothing is happening there here is my tree from seed and that is the korean giant graft so that's why it's first and this is also the korean giant here and that is also coming out and the 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 base of the tree is the um original rootstock it's it's not doing anything yet it probably put out some leaves soon and then here is the other one that is the hosui graft and that is why it has blooms already and so here let's take a closer look Shinsiki here Jojiro right here in the middle and Hosui in the back the Hosui is already fully bloom and uh, they're gonna turn into fruits very soon uh, 20th century is just broke see the buds just broke out and this is the Korean giant and I have a few other graphs on there as well so here this is a graph right here onto the Shinsiki and this is Hosui on top and then here is my other multi grafted and as you can see look at that beautiful bloom right there just on that one branch and that is because it is the Hosui look how beautiful that is guys you don't get to uh, to this don't last very long so you got to catch it at the right time to see the beautiful flowers and it is gorgeous look at this so beautiful and here is the graph section right here worked great and uh, let me show you all of the other graphs that I've done I think I have a 100% success this year here's the graft right here Korean giant and that is the buds forming here's the other graft it's still not open yet but it's alive and here's the other graft see that one's there's one flower right there a few over here so here's another graft right here and you can see the buds are forming another graft right here see the leaves are all over there that's the, the grafted section right there and let's see what else so here we have another graft right here and the leaves are forming you see so it's alive and then here another graft at that section right there and it is alive and opening up same with this one here that's a graft and the leaves are all there and then we have another one here and you see it is alive looking great and even my apple graft right here is also alive you see and uh, I should get leaves from this very soon so yeah that is an awesome um, fruit salad tree I'm very proud of it especially that branch right there man I just love that thing okay so over here we have my Fuyu and it is fully bloom and so uh, in probably another week or two we should start seeing fruits these things produce pretty fast you can actually see some right now you see here the baby fruit right there and so uh, yeah they, they're very productive for being so small so they do produce fruit very early but the problem is the fruit stay on the tree for a long time all the way up into October so like you get fruits like in May and then you gotta wait till October for it to be ready and then here is another Fuyu this is a giant Fuyu and it's just started to break buds here so this one is a little later than the other variety and guys check this out so you see here these are scales right here these are scaly bugs when you see those just squish them you see it they're not good for your plant and they're very hard to spot so um, you have to check the, the tree up and down and uh, they kind of blend in to the bark of the tree so just have to really inspect it 
Okay, so uh, that is it for now. We'll be back soon. Okay, today is April 12, 2022, and the blooms have come and gone. Well, almost gone. So if you do grow pears, you have to try to catch them very quickly because that's it. that is how fast they will just come and go. So today, the Korean giant is basically mostly green now. So the flowers are, are still there, kind of but you will start seeing more greens than flowers. So this is like uh, the best time to, to see both flowers and leaves. And so we'll go through quickly and I'll show you. So here is the uh, multi-grafted. You see everything is uh, starting to turn green. So that means fruits are going to form look at that 20th century is still lagging behind and here is uh, the tree from seed here's another one with the hosui grafted on the top and as I mentioned hosui are really early bloomer so that you know they are the first to set fruits and there is the multi-grafted tree as well and you see the the flowers that we saw now you will see green with it it's still very nice looking though so here a few days ago it was just all flowers and now you have leaves and you see the little fruits are starting to form right there and the shinko the rest of them here and some other grafts The apple grafts didn't uh, have leaves yet because the, this apple variety will uh, put out leaves a little later. So there's the full tree right there. Persimmons are looking good. Uh, this one here is starting to, to show some fruits, you see. There's a little baby fruit right there. And there's some right here. And then my apple, you see, it's still lagging behind. And then the uh, the baby apple that I grafted from a, a, a the tree I grew from seed, it is the first one to to sprout out new leaves. Here's the grafted part right here, and the original apple tree is here. There it is right here. This is the original tree I grew from seed, and that I chopped that off to use it as a graft. So you see, it's blooming. And so the, the rest uh, should come out. The leaves should be coming out in uh, maybe a week or two. You can actually see some already. And the last Shinko starting to produce some leaves. And then these are the grafted parts right here. Okay, so here is my Fuyu persimmon and it has uh, started to put out some fruit and this tree produced a lot of fruits guys it, it is awesome so uh, you can see fruits at this stage already you see here the baby fruits so they do produce fruits very early and as i mentioned they you're gonna have to wait to the end of the season in october before the fruits are ready but um yeah they're, they're, they're they have lots of fruits so uh, uh, in a month or so you will start to see the baby fruits and then you will see a ton of them okay so here is the other giant fuyu and I think this may fruit this year I'm not sure I have to, to wait because this one is a little later oh actually there there are some fruits so I may get lucky this year with this tree and get some fruits for it I'm very excited about that uh, so that is pretty much it for this uh, episode guys. We're going to pick up uh, Once the uh, The pears produce fruit and then uh, we're gonna show you the thinning process and all that stuff and uh, Look forward to that in the next video. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it so far Please like comment and subscribe